everyone, it's Kai. In this video, I will be showing you how I study on my iPad as a law student as well as the apps I use for law school and my highlighting system. Someone requested a how I study on my iPad as a law student video following the previous law school vlog I posted which is a finals week study vlog. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out too. So let's start with my equipment. I'm currently using an iPad 7 in space gray and I got it when I was in second year law school during the pandemic. I think I don't really need the specs of an iPad Pro because I usually just use my iPad for Netflix, editing videos, and for studying and reading. So I think this is perfect for a student. This is a 32 gig because this was the only stock left when I bought it. It's a Wi-Fi plus cellular version, though I don't really use the cellular feature because I don't see the point. Next, I use a paper-like screen protector dupe. I used to have a tempered glass screen protector, but what I didn't like about it is that light sources reflect on it and it bothered me so much. And when I started using my Apple Pencil, it was too slippery to write on. So if you're an artist or if you like writing down your notes on your iPad, this is definitely for you. Now let's move on to my case. I'm using this rose gold case I bought from Shopee. The back side is clear and it also has an Apple Pencil holder on the side. It just folds like this, so if you want to watch something, it can go like this, and if you want to write, it can go like this. Lastly, I use a first generation Apple Pencil. Before, I used to use it with an Apple Pencil sleeve grip, but I didn't like that it didn't fit in the Apple Pencil holder of my iPad case, so I just use it as it is. Now, let's talk about how I prepare to study on my iPad. When you start law school and it's the first week of classes, your professors are probably going to give you a syllabus with a list of cases for the semester. During the first week, I highly recommend that you download all the cases already. So we have Iskra, CD Asia, or if you're on a budget, you can opt for Lawfil or Chan Robles like what I do. Most of the time, these are very reliable when it comes to cases and it's free, which is the most important thing. Now let's talk about the apps I use for studying. So on my screen, I have a space just for school. The apps I mostly use are PDF Expert and Notability. Before studying on my iPad, I download the cases first on my laptop. And on my laptop, if you're a MacBook user, you can airdrop the cases from your MacBook to your iPad. Then on my iPad, it's going to ask me where the cases should go, so I choose PDF Expert. I use PDF Expert for reading cases and I use Notability for reviewing the notes I made or other notes I got like Golden Notes or MemAid. I used to be one of those people that print or photocopy all of the cases, so I used to have my bag full of papers all the time. Now, I have all the cases in my iPad and I think it's easier because I don't have to burden myself lugging around my bag full of papers and I don't have to spend money on printing and photocopying anymore. Now, let's talk about my highlighting system. I got this case from Lawfil and I use 7 colors for highlighting. I use purple for highlighting the important facts of the case and whenever I'm studying a book, I also use it to highlight the case title. I use blue for the general rules, laws, or provisions, and basically jurisprudence. And I use green for the exception to the general rule. I use yellow for the explanation and details, pink for the terms, red for doctrines, principles, legal maxims, and rationale and orange for enumerations. So that's how I highlight my cases. After highlighting the full text, what I do next is I make my own case digests. I'm gonna show you an example of a digest that I've already done. This is the one that I made for my Criminal Law 2 class. So as you can see, I made a digest of the facts, issues, and ruling of the case. Usually, the professor will tell us the coverage of next meeting's recitation, so I make my digests before the next class so that when I get called for recitation, I can easily check the digests I made. Or if the professor doesn't allow open notes, I can recall what the case was about because I was able to read the case in its full text. 
I place all my notes and digests in Notability and from there I can write notes during class like whenever the professor is discussing the case or topic. Now that we've talked about cases, in terms of textbooks and reviewers, what I do that helps me during recitation and exam period is that I make my own notes and reviewers. So what I do is I get the most relevant and important parts of the topic from the book and also from the lecture notes, then I put it all in my reviewer. What I use is MS Word on my laptop and I made my own template so that whenever I'm going to make a new reviewer for a subject, I just have to click it, then the template is all set up like the cover page, my watermark, as well as the table of contents. Then, when I'm done making my notes on my laptop, I save it as PDF, then I airdrop it to my iPad, and that's where I review it during the exam period. Now, let's talk about the other apps I use for law school. I use the Files and Drive app for storage. Whenever the semester is over, I upload all my notes and reviewers to my Google Drive so that when it's time for me to review for the bar exam, I can easily access all my notes from there. Or sometimes when I have to go back to a certain topic, I'll just open the Drive app, then look for my notes and read it from there. I also use Docs and Sheets, though I don't really use these two as much now, but just in case, I keep it on my iPad. I also maximize the Reminders app and I use it as a widget, so whenever I need to check on what I need to do today, it's already on my home screen. I also have Forest on my iPad and I also downloaded Canvas Student so that I can easily check on my classes on Canvas. And of course, I always use Notion. I just made an updated Notion template I use every day and I also made a free Notion template for you guys. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I find it easier and less expensive now that I've gone paperless in law school because now that we're transitioning back to face-to-face -to -face classes, I don't have to worry about printing and photocopying cases anymore, as well as bringing so much paper with me to school because I have my laptop and iPad. Also, when you're gonna go paperless and start using your iPad for studying, you should turn on Do Not Disturb. I customized the settings for my DND. So just go to settings, then focus, then you can see here I have the default do not disturb, sleep, and one for study, class, or work. Here I don't allow notifications from anyone, may it be texts or calls whenever I have this turned on. Also, I only have certain apps that I allow notifications from whenever I'm studying like Forest, Gmail, Google Calendar, Notion, Reminders, Canvas, and Zoom. And yeah, that's how I study on my iPad. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to like, subscribe, drink your water, and I'll see you all next time. It's 5.50 something and I feel so empty inside.